Paris, 1919, Six Months That Changed the World by Margaret Macmillan is a meticulously researched and thought-provoking narrative that delves into the complex web of international diplomacy, power struggles, and negotiations that took place at the end of World War I. Through a comprehensive examination of the Paris Peace Conference, Macmillan provides readers with a deep understanding of the dynamics and decisions that shaped the post-war world, making it a significant contribution to the study of history. The book offers a vivid and detailed account of the six-month period following the armistice, during which delegates from around the world descended upon Paris to negotiate the terms of peace and establish a new world order. Macmillan skillfully interweaves personal anecdotes and insights from key figures such as Woodrow Wilson, George Clemenceau, and David Lloyd George, giving the reader an inside look at the minds and motivations of the individuals behind the Treaty of Versailles and its subsequent agreements. One of the book's strengths is its meticulous research. Macmillan draws on a vast array of primary sources, including diaries, letters, and official documents, to construct a narrative that captures the complexities and tensions of the negotiations. This attention to detail allows readers to grasp the human element of diplomacy, where personalities, egos, and personal relationships played a significant role in shaping the outcome of the conference. The book highlights the central dilemma of the Paris Peace Conference, the tension between the principles of self-determination and the realities of power politics. Wilson's idealistic vision of a world based on self-determination clashed with the territorial and political ambitions of the other leaders. Macmillan portrays Wilson as a principled but often naive leader who struggled to balance his lofty ideals with the harsh realities of post-war Europe. The book provides a nuanced view of Wilson, illustrating both his strengths and his shortcomings. Macmillan's narrative is not limited to the big three leaders but also includes the perspectives and actions of lesser-known figures, such as Jan Smuts, the South African delegate, and Ho Chi Minh, who worked as a kitchen helper during the conference. This broader perspective enriches the story and underscores the global nature of the conference's consequences. One of the book's key arguments is that the Treaty of Versailles, while imperfect, was not solely responsible for causing World War II, as some have argued. Macmillan persuasively contends that the treaty alone did not create the conditions for a second global conflict. Instead, she emphasizes that it was the broader geopolitical and economic factors, as well as the failure of subsequent diplomacy and the rise of totalitarian regimes, that led to the outbreak of World War II. This nuanced interpretation challenges conventional wisdom and adds depth to the historical understanding of this period. Another important aspect of the book is its examination of the role of colonialism and the treatment of colonial territories in the peace negotiations. Macmillan highlights how the European powers sought to maintain their colonial empires and how the principle of self-determination was selectively applied. This sheds light on the enduring impact of colonialism and the challenges faced by colonized nations in their struggle for independence. The book also delves into the conference's attempts to redraw the map of Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and Asia, emphasizing the difficulties in reconciling competing national and ethnic claims. Macmillan portrays the conference as a series of compromises, where the pursuit of national interests often took precedence over moral or ethical considerations. Paris, 1919, is not without its criticisms. Some readers may find its level of detail and extensive cast of characters overwhelming, especially if they are not well versed in the history of the period. Additionally, while Macmillan's nuanced analysis of the causes of World War II is a strength, it may leave readers seeking a more definitive conclusion unsatisfied. In conclusion, Paris, 1919, Six Months That Changed the World, is a masterful work of historical scholarship that provides a comprehensive and engaging account of the Paris Peace Conference. 
Margaret Macmillan's meticulous research, balanced narrative, and nuanced analysis make this book an essential read for anyone interested in the history of the 20th century. It challenges preconceived notions about the post-World War I era, offering a deeper and more complex understanding of the forces that shaped the modern world. Ultimately, it reminds us of the enduring importance of diplomacy, compromise, and the complexities of international relations in our ever-changing global landscape.